Hello friends, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. It is March Day, Arsenal take on Orlando City in the Major League Soccer. Uh, from the Major League Soccer. We are not playing in the Major League Soccer, but we are playing a team from the Major League Soccer in the Eastern Conference. And of course, we're going to be looking at the preview. We'll be looking at how Arsenal should line up. Um, after playing three games unbeaten in our in our preseason, I think we can complete our preseason unbeaten. Of course, we have that Chelsea game that is up, you know, coming up after Orlando City, but that really doesn't matter. So in this uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at Orlando City. What kind of team are they, by the way? Because many of you do not know about it. But it's a team playing in America in the Major League Soccer. A mid-table team, really. A one that really concedes a lot of goals. But one that also loves to score. So probably we might have a very interesting game. An exciting one on our hands tonight. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the podcast as well. Um, and tell me which players do you want to see this preseason that we've actually not seen or we've not seen enough of them fabio Vieira for me is the one and i think um i want to see another show of, uh, a- another show of maquinos uh as well but the rest of the lads i've seen much of them and i'm very very pretty much sure we will see much of them during the season let's get this video to eight and relax now to start off with our team news and also in terms of injury update who is available and who is not fabio Vieira is back in full training it is highly unlikely uh, that he will feature in this one but high chances are that after arsenal play orlando city and we take on uh, we take on chelsea then fabio Vieira could be available i cannot wait i really can't wait to see fabio Vieira uh, in that number 10 role trying to do uh, the martin odegaard magic try to do uh, trying to do what we've known um for martin odegaard and then probably we see do we have a number 10 do we do we have another number eight do we have a number 11 or do we have a number seven so fabio Vieira back in full training he might not play but he is absolutely fine the little foot injury he had has uh, has been absolutely healed now the other player that has been out as well has been a uh, ben white um we expect him to be back and we expect him to feature in this game ben had a little i think it was it a thigh injury uh with ben white but he's now 100 percent okay emil smith bro has a simple thigh injury so he might not feature in this one and we also do not expect um and we also do not expect uh to see uh, i mean no ben white uh in this ben white is back isn't he uh ben is back no emil smith bro in this one someone called uh and switched my attention so we do not have uh emil smith bro he has a little thigh injury uh and kieran Tierney, right so of, of course, n- that means not Tavares or Cedric will be covering there. Or probably Alexander Zichenko. No, don't don't even get me started. Alexander Zichenko will not will not be playing for us now in this game. He's now doing his final part of the medicals, uh, and everything should be completed very very soon. But he won't be playing in this game. So, uh, uh, in terms of left backs, we have Tavares. And we have Cedric to cover there. We do not have uh, uh, Antomiasu, by the way, Antomiasu as well. But we do not have uh, Karantiani. And Mill Smith Bro is also out with a simple uh, injury. Now, to dive into what Orlando City are all about, and uh, before we get into the predicted lineup and what the game means for us now, uh, Orlando City are a team playing in the Major League Soccer that is um, uh, in, the East, uh, in the Eastern conference they have two conferences i don't know why they do it like that but they have two conferences they have the eastern conference uh, and they have the western conference uh as well so orlando city play um in the uh, uh, are playing in the eastern conference and currently are sitting fifth on the table they play 21 games they have won eight of them drowned six and uh lost seven um one thing i've, I've seen with them they have con- they have already they have scored 30 goals this season and conceded 34 they already have a goal difference of minus four and one thing i've seen with them is that they concede a lot of goals. they love to score uh, but they also concede a, a lot of goals that shows you that um, they're a very very open team they love playing open football uh, and they love playing um 
uh, you know, that, that kind of free football. Or probably they're not a quality side. But you cannot really say they're not a very, very they're not a quality side because even last campaign they finished sixth on the table in the Eastern Conference. Uh, but they say still had the same problem. They scored over forty goals and conceded more than thirty five goals. So their problem is conceding a lot of goals if the likes of Gabriel Jesus, Edin Ketia, uh, Martinelli and Saka are sharp today we could have to, we could see a game where Arsenal score more than five because Orlando City are a club that truly really concede a lot of goals so if you look at their past performances in the last five games uh, I've noticed something uh, so they've, they've only won one game in the last five, drawn three and lost one as well. Uh, and their only loss came against DC United uh, on the 5th of July. They also beat uh, Inter Miami on the 10th of July. That was uh, one nil. But the rest of uh, the games have gone into uh, in, uh, have gone have gone as draws. Atlanta United. Uh, uh, the the recent game they played that went one one against Colorado Rapids. I think are they called Colorado Rapids, or they are just called Colorado. Um, that went one all as well. Uh, and again, um, uh, 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 again in the U.S. Open quarterfinal, uh, they played Nashville, and that game went one one as well. So I, I think the point you can see here, the, you know, the, the the point that cuts across here uh, in all their games is that they concede. A lot of goals. They've literally conceded a goal in each of their last five games, except for one, which one they um which they won uh against Atlanta uh, against Inter Miami. So that shows you they are not a team that is going to be putting Arsenal and keeping Arsenal out of goal scoring positions and um uh, out of goal scoring opportunities. But can we get closer to them uh, and score as many as we can? This is uh, you know, this preseason we have already scored five goals twice against FC Nuremberg and also against uh, Ipswich Town. So we have the ability to score the many. We should definitely do that. So how how do Arsenal line up uh, against Orlando City? Um. Uh, just to give you a little picture of how they would line up, um, uh, and how they lined up in their in in, in their uh, uh, recent in their recent game, they kind of play that kind uh, that uh, four four one one system. They play with a back four, uh, a midfield four, and then uh, kind of two strikers, but one uh, being in a kind of a number 10 or a support striker. So that is how they play. I think that formation will not change very much, given the fact that they are going to play a very uh, heavy side in Arsenal. I don't think they're going to go extravagant. Actually, I think they'll be more uh, conservative and uh, primitive in terms of, uh, you know, setting out. So how should Arsenal line up? Which names do I want to see in that team? Uh, so this one is a game, if you think about motive, this is a game where Arsenal should be thinking about uh, getting first team players more game time as we approach the season because we are only three games away from starting our you know, fr from starting our season obligations against Crystal Palace. So Ramsdale should come in, uh, should come back in goal. Uh, this one, of course, um, Matt Tanner has been in America um, and you feel probably wants to play against them. Uh, but for me, uh, you know, I honestly feel this should be a game. That, or, or these are games where you, you know, these are games where uh, you know your first team, your first team players, you know, should be uh, you know should be appearing all the time. Uh, our first uh, our first team players need to be appearing all the time uh, in, in in these games, especially the last three games uh, of um uh, of preseason. There is no reason as to, no one can convince me uh, that fringe players should be uh, playing. The likes of Hector Bellerin, the likes of uh, uh, Pablo Mare. Probably, I don't have a problem with them, honestly. Uh, but I'll prefer them uh, to be on the bench as the uh, as um as 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 as, as the team starters start. So Ramsdale in goal. Um, he needs the game time. We we, we need to agree on this one. Uh, he needs the game time, so I'll put him in goal. I'll play back four with uh, uh, Gabriel in uh, in defense there. Uh, Gabriel Magales in defense. We should go with them, honestly, uh, ahead of Pablo Mare. So where is he? Here it is. Um, and then the fact that Ben White might not play, and we've seen William Saliba play alongside... Um, alongside Gabriel very well, prompts me to say William Saliba should come back uh, in... Um, uh, uh, you know, in defense, I want to see much more of that partnership. I want to see them more. I want to see 
uh, much more of Gabriel and William Saliba. So I would play them. i uh, play them here. Uh, Tomiyasu, obviously, um, he, he didn't end the season very, very well. Uh, it was not the best not to end the season. But now he needs to come back. Uh, and, and I would give him uh, in this one. At left back, Nuno Tavares. I don't think uh, Orlando City are going to be very, very scary. And, you know, uh, of course, with that Nuno Tavares... You have you, you have two thoughts here. You're having a player who might go out on loan, um, and then you're having a player who uh, you don't want to risk. Uh, you, know, you you don't want to risk in terms of uh, you know picking up an injury. But I'll play him there. I think he's very very uh, he's very very explosive as a player. Thomas Partey, of course, needs to be in this one. Uh, we cannot even argue on uh, on this. Uh, Thomas Partey, and alongside him. Fabio Vieira, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Fabio Vieira, okay? Uh, I think Vieira should be in this team. I think he should be in this team. I hope I can get uh, I can get the name right. Uh, Fabio Vieira should be in the team. No questions there. Yeah. Uh, and then alongside Martin Odegaard, of course, as the, uh, the new captain is going to be playing more minutes. Uh, than any other player in that Arsenal side. You need him to be uh, present in these prison uh, preseason games just to, you know, allow him be the more uh, the guy. Just allow him to be the guy. Uh, you know, more players get getting used to the fact that he's now the new captain. Uh, left wing Gabriel Martinelli. Um, uh, Gabriel Martinelli. I think you know throughout preseason he needs to establish himself um, as the uh, as Arsenal's left winger. He needs to. Um, Saka over McQuinos as well, but in the second half, I'll definitely play McQuinos. Uh, but Saka and Dropable uh, for Arsenal, and finally, Gabriel Jesus. No questions there, yeah, no questions there. Uh, on who starts up front. So, this is the team that I would love Arsenal to start with. Uh, for starters, and then in the second half, we can have a completely very, very different team. Uh, Matt Tanner replacing Aaron Ramsdale, Cedric Suarez replacing uh, Tavares, uh, then Gabriel Magales uh, out, Ben uh, Pablo Mari in. Then we can have Robolding for Saliba. We can have who can play for us? Um, who can play for us? Uh, uh, um, uh, who can play for us right back? Um, I just forgetting the name, uh, the name of the young lad. Um, had a very had a fantastic game. Uh, you know the other, you know against against FC Nuremberg. Who is that? Just forgotten that. Uh, but then party out. Lokonga in. Martin Odegaard uh, could be dropped as well. Um, Fabio Vera should uh, should not play uh, as many minutes. And then Nketiah comes in. The likes of Edin Nketiah coming in um, into the squad into that into the lineup as well. So it's one where we can have two separate lineups. One in the first half and um, the second one. Um, and the second half can have also a very very different uh, lineup. So I don't think they are very very you know strong uh, as an opposition. It's a game just to give your first team players a lot of game time, just to you know get them fit, find your test your uh, you know starting lineup. Can Saka play on the left? Can Saka play on the right? Um, uh, sorry, can Martinelli play on the right? Things like that. But I, I'm not really expecting a lot of opposition from Orlando City. And Arsenal should be able to win this one like 6-0 or 6-1. We are we are conceding a lot of goals, actually, and uh, I don't like it. But we didn't concede against Everton uh, when Saliba played with um, Gabriel Magales. So, mm, probably. We should play... Uh, we should play... Uh, a, another clean sheet. We should, be pl uh, we should be playing for another clean sheet. So, in my opinion... Mm, six nil. Well, I, I saw Barcelona hit six nil, and Xavi went all out. He, you know, he played all his players: Rafinha, Ansu Fati. He played everyone, and that's what I want. I want Arsenal to play our strongest eleven, uh, and get, uh, you know, and get, um, and, and get the ball rolling. So six nil. Um, I would be very, very glad, and we go into Chelsea, into the Chelsea game, uh, very, very strong. But anyway, we are playing Orlando City. That should be. Um, at night, 2.30 p.m. at night or in the morning, uh, depending on how you want to call it.